again. <laughs> Hi. So today um, it has been chucking it down like it's you been a bit would wet. not believe, literally. Wind, rain. Yeah, sort of reoccurring theme at the moment. So <laughs> we did a little bit of shopping, um, went to Wix and Garden Centre, got some plants and um, came across this stuff which we have seen people um, doing vlogs on it before. And I don't know why, we, I don't know, we sort of debated, haven't we? You may remember I did these little bags to try and combat the condensation that are filled with cat litter. <laughs> um, it worked up until a point, but I mean, they are very tiny. You can sort of see by I the size of my hand. bigger ones. They're, they're a bit small, I think. Um, they look quite pretty, but yeah, they're too small. They, they were okay when the weather wasn't too cold, but now it has sort of reached the minuses. I... Yeah, um, the condensation is becoming quite bad and we're even getting drips from our mushrooms, aren't we, as well? Yeah, it's getting a bit drippy. Yeah, getting a bit drippy. <laughs> so... We thought, um, we just ha we weren't looking for this, we just um, saw it for a fiver, didn't we? Um, seasonal double glazing film, um, and we know it has worked for some others, so we thought we'd give it a little go. And we're going to put, we didn't get loads, so we're going to put it on some windows and, and see not, what and see actually how effective it is. So this is going to be fun, <laughs> <laughs> hairdryer at the ready, scissors, um, nice. yeah. <laughs> Let's give this a go, see whether it works. Ah, you get a roll of double-sided tape. Okay. And a big bit of tape of film, filmy stuff. And this is, what is it, 4 metres by 1.5 metres. So we should be able to do a few bits and bobs and some instructions which will be handy. Oh, that's way too much to read. Let's just whack it on and see what happens. <laughs> So obviously step one is to make sure the window's clean. Um, I've just had a revelation. I didn't realise in my head, I thought this stuff sort of vacuumed into the window, but it doesn't. It creates sort of a, a sheet across the window. So yeah, it's, it's like creating a second film of glass, basically, yeah. over the top, not against it. No, so, um, <laughs> so um, yeah, once we've done it, we can't clean the inside of the window, so me being a bit like OCD, um, got to make sure the window's nice and clean first. And it means that I can't. But our last video, I popped out the window to show how we cleaned the window. Oh, you're not taking them out now till summer? No. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Say lovey. So our sort of worst end on the boat is okay. the front uh, where our bedroom is and our dressing room is. I'm in the dressing room at the moment. So we're going to do this porthole here. Um, that is opposite the dressing room. So opposite that one. So we're going to do those two portholes. Right. Hang on. Well, it comes come down to about there, won't it? Yeah. And we just have to do that. And then forget the scissors. And then you've got the good fun bit of trying to get the um, white bit off the top. Oh, what? The double-sided? Yeah. Yeah. Way around. Yeah, just do little strips. I'm bored now. <laughs> <laughs> double-sided tape so hopefully that'll be enough to stick the film and time will tell. We've just realised that the packet is actually quite large. It covers the whole of our king-size bed. Oh and the rest. <laughs> it was wrapped in half and, and half and um, half and half. And half again so um, yeah we've got a bed of plastic. A little bit Dexter. So one square of film. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, scary. Yeah, you, you used to I'm go. not putting it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he laying this on me? Nice. 
Next thing you need is a Ex trusty hair dryer. An extension lead. And an extension lead. <laughs> because the lead's not long enough for the plug socket. Where are you going on your holidays? How long does it say to heat it for? Huh? Oh, what, the instructions? Yeah. The ones we didn't really read? Yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. So to leave it a little bit. Right. Ten seconds. And then it should sound like this. Ooh. It sounds like a drum. It does sound like a drum. Then what do you do? Is that it? Yeah. Finished. So that's, that's oh, it. There's one port holder. Right. And as they say, I'll go put the kettle on and leave you to do the rest of the boat. It's getting cheeky. It's getting very cheeky. Okay, so it's not the most beautiful thing in the world. You can sort of see the tapey bits. It's really difficult to cut on a port hole, but from back here, once the curtains are drawn a bit, it should be okay. Our bow doors are particularly bad. They are literally running like a waterfall. <laughs> Aren't they? That sounds like we're Every underwater. Water. <laughs> yeah, we're it's not that bad. <laughs> um, so we're thinking with these, because obviously um, it's got an edging to it, we can do a much neater job than that porthole. We're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. And I've just said to Richard, if it works and it looks neat, we'll just leave that one on there for until Ever. it falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So for your viewing pleasure, we only do this for you, you know, we're going to do one door. And in the morning, I'm going to film and see if there's a massive difference between both doors. Hoping this experiment will work. Hmm. <laughs> Push that, just fit it all down that side. So yeah. run your finger down it. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Stuff is not easy. <laughs> it was going well, and then you caught oh, no. it with your finger and pulled oh, it off. No. Damn. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Careful it's going. though, right, now come off. That's it. Oh, look at that drum! <laughs> Exciting! Well, it's right now. Let's see what happens in the morning. <laughs> so we'll um, update you in the morning and um, see what the difference is. Good morning. So, um, as promised, we have left it till the morning um, and let's see what has happened to these windows. So we decided to leave um, this porthole in the dressing room and as you can see, I haven't wiped it or anything yet, there is quite a lot of condensation and then as you can see it's starting to drip down the window frame. However, the porthole that we did do, I will show you. So this is the porthole that we put the film on. And as you can see, there isn't a single drop of condensation, so it does work. However, the bow doors, this is a little bit of a different story. So the bow doors, I thought we um, would have had that really nailed um, because we could fit the film quite close to the window. Um, yeah, we've had a little bit of a fail on the bow doors, I'll show you. So this is the one that we didn't do. So you can see all the condensation on that one is quite bad. Now this one, I say a fail, it has worked 
to a point, you can see a little bit of misty condensation in the middle, but the reason why it didn't work is we um, actually had a user error, I guess, and you can see it's peeled off. So that's why, so it's, it was from this tricky corner which we were, that's still stuck, but this here, so if you can see, is actually peeling off. So I guess that's user error. I think we were trying to be clever putting it on this little, this curved bit here, um, but I think maybe we need to do it on here, on the actual flat surface. Um, I don't think the sticky tape liked going around the curved surface. So that would have been perfect had it not started coming off. So yeah, so it looks like the, um, the film does work. Um, it just obviously has to be installed properly. <laughs> um, so I think we'll probably do um, some more windows. For us, down the stern end, down where the kitchen is and the lounge, we don't get too much condensation. And I think that's because we have the fire going all the time. And so that end stays quite warm, whereas the bow end, um, down the bedroom, dressing room, bathroom to some extent, um, the heat, we do have heating, but the heat doesn't stay down this end quite so, so well. So I guess that's why we get more condensation. So um, after doing that little test, I think we will add some more film to the rest of the windows and hopefully battle the condensation over the winter. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It gives you a little tip or trick. And if you enjoyed it, give us a little thumbs up um, and hit that subscribe for us. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.